Hi everybody, Jo here again. Thanks for joining me today. It's um, Friday, Friday afternoon, and I just thought it was about time we had a catch up. I've not popped in for a few days. Um, it's been a bit hectic. I had to go up and spend some time with my parents this week, which which was lovely. But um, but like everything, when you're used to working full time, it's a it's a bit hectic. Um, so I thought I'd pop in today and I'm just going to use a couple of stamp sets and we're not going to do anything mind blowing. We're just going to craft and make um, what I think is just a, a, a lovely design using a couple of my favourite stamp sets. And I want to just show you how we mix new and old. Often I think as crafters we buy new products and we use them and use them and then we put them to one side and it's almost like you go out of favour with them. So I'm using all and create products today and the beauty is they mix and match so well. So the piece of cardstock I'm starting off with, I'll pop this to one side so I can remind myself what we're doing. And I've just chosen a piece of card, really, um, it's not to go on any particular um, card blank size. This is just, I felt it would be good with the stamps I'm using. So I've gone for four inches wide. And to be honest, the, the length is actually the width of my card that I use. That's eight and a half ish. So... Now this could, if you look at my final one, obviously if you wanted this to go on a DL card blank, you could trim it down and then do the design just a little bit smaller. So I'll show you the two car, um, stamp sets that I'm going to be using. Both are by Tracy Evans. And the first one is 165. And this is one of the earlier ones, but I have to say, fabulous. And it's called Numbered Pencils. Now, if you're somebody who likes to do, let me just find my, um, my Poskas are in a, a, a tin, which I've put washi tape round for my Posca pens. These are useful for brushes, Posca pens, but I have to say this stamp set is lovely for that. And if you're thinking of a gift for, say, a teenager's room, you could always make them a gift like that and put um, pencils in. So I have to say, fabulous uh, stamp set. Did I tell you, it's 165 numbered pencils. And then the other one is a more recent one. Now I have used this one before, you know I love this one. And this one is 449 and that's Through the Meadows. And we're going to use the, what I call a DL stamp on this, on this stamp set. And we're going to start off by making our background. And I want the background to literally be a background. So I'm going to use this um, ink pad. I'm using Oxide just because they're on my desk. And I'm using Pumice Stone. Now, I know you're probably getting a bit sick of me using Pumice Stone. I use it a lot. But it's such a fabulous colour for backgrounds. And I'm just going to stamp the actual pencil area of this stamp set. And I'm almost smooshing the ink on doesn't need to be perfect this is just going to be my background stamping and I really do want it just to be in the background so let's just have a which way my pencil's going oh my pencil's going up shall we right let's put that one there now I hope I've cleaned my stamp if not it could have a black line going through it but do you know what if it does it doesn't matter oh no that's come out lovely can you see that if I bring it a bit closer such a lovely colour this because as I say it's just great for, for backgrounds and I don't want to overthink this you know sometimes when you come in your craft room and you just want a nice sort of I was going to say easy car but that's probably the wrong thing to say just a nice relaxing you just want to enjoy what you're creating and not overthink it and again I'm not over pressing not pressing too hard because I just want these in the in the background I'm just going to offset this one this way. Just I don't want them in a straight row. I almost want to make it look like we've cut this from a piece of backing card. There we go. Oh, I like that little bit there. Now, if I want to add something here, I might just let's have a look. We've got, shall I, shan't I? We've got some little pen. No, I think I'll leave it white. Doing that thing of talking to myself. And I'm sure you do exactly the same. And I'm just going to write my stamp because you know me. I have to clean as I'm going along. Use my dirty inky binky. I have got a new one on the way, so you're going to be surprised when I introduce my new inky binky. 
I'm just going to put that to one side. And what I'm going to do is just take the harshness off this edge. And I'm going to do now, I know we do this a lot, but I just love the director paper. And to be honest, it saves me getting um, a blending tool or anything. So I'm just going to and make sure you tilt the ink pad. And what I want to do is just add some colour at the edge. But here, I want to almost bring some a bit further. Again, swipe a bit further. And then at the bottom... So again, I'm just swiping that little bit, but where I've got the white, I almost want to bring, which is why I stopped myself stamping extra there, because I'm thinking the ink should be enough. And, and I like that. I mean, you've almost made yourself. I mean, a little tip if you're somebody who um, loves making backgrounds, must admit, I love making backgrounds. Quite often, if I'm making a design, I'll make two or three of these backgrounds at once and just put them to one side. And this will be perfect for men's cards. You know, I mean, I know it's probably a bit late because probably schools are finishing about now, but this would be a great background for a teacher's card. You know, and all you'd need on the front is thank you. So, as I say, fabulous stamp set just on its own. Now, I'm going to add my black edge. And I'm just going to use my, my Sharpie pen. And like I said, I've been challenging myself not to use a ruler for this. So I'm just going to hold it down and whiz. Same this way. You really do sort of take a deep breath when you do this. Like I said, I was used to use a ruler, but I'm training myself not to. There we go. I say, I do, I do love this background. You know, some... Um, Black brown splatters on that would really vintage it up as well if you wanted. We're going to stamp our design now, and as I said, I'm going for this lovely butterfly. So while I'm inking up, how are you doing? How are you keeping? I hope you've had a, a good week since we, we last chatted. I have to say, here in the UK, it's very humid today. The sun's not out. I must admit, it's quite cloudy, but it is warm. Now, they have promised we're in for a very warm weekend. But you never know, do you? Sometimes they promise it, and then I don't want to get my hopes up because I don't want to be disappointed. But it was our eldest grandson, Elliot. It was his fourth birthday yesterday. So we're just having a few, few people round, and he's coming round for a little party tea tomorrow. So that'll be nice. He was so excited last night when we went to see him. But Adam and Danny's mum and dad know me well. They had a party bag with sweets in all ready for me. <laughs> Comes to something when grandma has to have a party bag, doesn't it? Right, we're going to stamp that. Normally I'd go off centre, but this one, I actually want this one in the middle. And as always, I just find it easy to stamp this way. Almost horizontal rather than vertical. Again, it's just something a bit funny that way, aren't I? And again, remember, these are flexible, these blocks. So again, you can just lift up and flex. And as I say, look at that. If you didn't want to do much more, you know, you could leave this in black and white. I mean, we're going to add some colour, the finished design. But, you know, if you needed a, a quick card... I will put that to one side. What I want to do is I need to stamp the butterfly again. So while we've got ink on the stamp, we'll just ink that bit up again. I'll just go for that bit. And those numbers there, those ticker tape numbers, I love those. So we need to get those in as well. And we also need some pencils. So on the same piece, let's pick out, I want three pencils. So let's stamp the pencils. And we're going to cut these out. They make lovely embellishments. I do love the fact we can make our own embellishments. And then on the end here, it says, 
if I can read it, illustrate your life. So I just want to stamp that. So I'm going to look if I've got a little off cut. Will that fit? Yeah. It's good to use the off cuts. If you're anything like me, you'll save every piece of card you've got. But the thing is, you need to use it. It's no good saving them if we're not going to use them. I say there's so much on this stamp set. Yes. I mean, I love those arrows as well. So that's the stamping that finished with. Now, when it comes to adding colour, I just wanted to work with some basic colours. So I want to bring a little bit of the pumice stone in. So I'm going to add that on my mat. And again, I'm not doing anything difficult today. I'm just using my oxides, which are on my desk, and my water brush, which is in a pot, my paintbrush. So this one is Seedless Preserves and Wilted Violet. I love yellow and purple together. I know some people aren't purple fans, I must admit, I never used to be myself. Um, but it is funny how you just try and get yourself into using colours that you wouldn't normally. Now again, just going to add some water. So for my butterfly, I'm just adding the yellow round the edge. And again, I'm not being overly careful because do you know what? I'm going to cut my butterfly out. And then a little bit of water to the purples. And then, now I'm very quickly doing this, but um, you will take a bit longer. And what I tend to do is just add a wash like that to almost let the colours mix. And then what I would do is come in when it's a bit drier with my darker colour and almost add some more detail. And I would do the same with my pencils and then cut it out. But I've cut it out already so you can see. So there's my butterfly coloured and I've coloured some pencils. And what I've done is I've used the um, pumice stone for the end of the pencils. So I'll put those there and we'll put that to one side to dry. That means I've got another butterfly look for a, an, another piece what I do want to do is just colour this bird here. So I'll go for my finer paintbrush and I'm just going to add a little bit of purple ink and we'll just paint him just so he goes nicely with the whole design. There we go. And we're going to add some purple splatters. So with my paintbrush, just add, and I'm using a little paintbrush because I just want fine purple splatters, but lots of them. I'm going to add a little bit of yellow ink as well. Although we're going to decoupage the butterfly, you'll be able to see a little bit under the wings. So we'll add a little bit of yellow. These are the little details that you just want to make sure just to make your card the best it can be. Right, so we'll mop this up. Again, Mr Inky Binky to clean it. So the next bit we're going to do is add our shading. So again, I've got my water reactive pencil. Now you can put shading all the way around your objects if you want. I'm a big fan of just going to the right and underneath. But again, there's no right or wrong. You can add as little or as much shade as you want. And then it's just a matter of getting your paintbrush. And we'll just, my mat sticky. Let's put a piece of kitchen roll down, otherwise that noise is going to... There we go. And the same here, this one's over the top. And like I say, you can add shadow to more things if you want. I just want a few of them to pop, really pop. 
and I think that if you look I think that that really does the trick doesn't it and especially with the butterfly around here so let's cut our sentiment so if we go for and again I'm just using a large pair of scissors you could use your guillotine if you wanted I'm just going for large scissors and you could add it as one piece but I just like it in the three and that's what we'll we'll go for pop those in the bin so I hope you're managing to get a little bit of crafting done or are you somebody who's into your garden at the minute are you gardening a lot I mean it's such lovely weather isn't it well certainly here I don't know about you ladies in um, Australia and you in America and Canada what sort of weather are you having? So what we're going to do now is just add, I like things top and bottom and I just thought these pencils, quite often we had a paper clip or something or a sentiment but I just thought they coming in like that frame it nicely and I thought with the words illustrate your life the pencils almost illustrate and if we put them I don't want to cover that detail there, I love that. So if we put them here, and again, always place, place your things on before you actually decide to stick them down. Now obviously my little ticker tape numbers go in there. And then my last little pencil, I'm going to add for the body of our butterfly. So I'm gonna cut that one there. just pointing down there now I did wonder whether to point him up now just for me it didn't work as well so we're going for pointing him down so I'm using pin flare but to be fair you can use whichever glue of choice you can use a dry clear glue there's lots of different companies that do different different glues and I'm just going to Let's pop the pencil on first there and I want that right up to the edge it's worth time just getting it correct and then we'll put our illustrate on now as I say it's Friday so I hope you've got a nice weekend planned you know, even if you're just having some time out and resting, it's important. Or are you going to be crafting? I've got a weekend off this weekend, no workshop. As much as I love my workshops and I love spending time with the ladies and gentlemen, you know, it is nice to just have a, a two days off. When I just have a Sunday off, the time, by the time I catch up on housework and see the grandchildren and it's amazing how quickly time goes. So I'm looking forward to having two days off. Although I have got a stack of ironing I need to do tonight, just so it's out of the way, otherwise my weekend will be ironing. I need to invest in clothes that don't need ironing, I think. I mean, I've bought sheets that don't need ironing, but I still end up ironing them. Is that just me? Probably is. I don't believe it when it says... You don't need to iron them. Right, I'm just going to put the pin flare there and there so that that, when it's dry, will just pop up. Look. And then, where's my little body? We'll add butterfly actually flew in our kitchen last night and I panicked. I quickly closed the door so it couldn't get in the rest of the house. And it's as though it knew it sort of did a circuit around the kitchen, around the utility, back in the kitchen and then back out the patio doors. It was gorgeous as well, a big swallowtail butterfly. It was almost like it came in just for a visit and then left. There we go. So again, always remember pin flare, pop it up, twist. And then this, I just want to give this a wipe so we keep everywhere nice and clean. Now, the words for me don't really stand out, do they? 
So we've got options. We could add some shading, but I don't, and what I'm thinking is I'll add the shading on my pencil. So if I add a bit to my pencils and let's get the, the water out and then just move that down. And the same with this one. And then move it down. So I could do that, but what I'm thinking is let's do some doodling. Oh, we need a little bit of shading on our number there, don't we? Should have done that before I stuck it on, really, but it's not the end of the world. The beauty of it is, especially if you've got a, a glue that you've got wiggle time. Again, there you go. Nobody will ever know. So let's add some doodling. Now, some people doodle the box first. I've got to be honest, I it's not my the way I do it. But again, you do whatever you find. Now, you can mimic. So you've got thread there. So you can even add a bit of th mimic your thread look if you want. How about that? Have you got the confidence to do that? Nobody would ever know, would they? And it looks like the thread. I mean, obviously, you can add black, black thread. And that's something we've done before. I mean, Tracy's drawn it for you, so the idea is there. But if you want to just mimic and add some black thread of your own, look, you do it. Let's have a bit going up there. And it's lovely to be able to do that. Now, I want a little bit of highlight, but I don't want to add too much almost glitter to this. I'm liking those sort of earthy tones. So I'm going for a Signo, and this is a gold pen. And... It's lovely because it just almost gives a bit of sparkle, but it's not over sparkly. And it almost gives a bit of highlight. Now you could come in with your white pen, but this one, I'm not going to add white highlights. For a change, I'm going for this, this sort of gold effect. And again, sometimes it's nice to just mix it up a bit and do something that isn't the usual. Oh, let's add a bit on this bird here. And we can put a bit up here, look. I'm really happy with that. And again, two stamps, but look at this, you can still see the, the detail. Now, quite often we use white splatters, don't we? But you know me, I love my coloured Poscas. So to bring the yellow out, we're going to do the old shake, aren't we? Posca shake. Let's add some yellow splatters. What See, that's what when you're talking and you've got her who must be obeyed in the corner. She likes to interrupt. Alexa, stop. Alexa, stop. Do you know, when maybe she doesn't do that more often. <gasps> Alexa, stop. She's not careful. I'm going to be unplugging her. <laughs> Mind you, I think Carl wishes he could do that to me sometimes. Right, so there's our design. So I hope you've enjoyed that. And I'll bring in the finished one. I hope you've spent some lovely time with me. Did you have your brew? I didn't ask you, did I? That was very remiss of me. I didn't ask if you'd got your brew or your cheeky biscuit. Now, here I've coloured the nib purple to match. There, I just felt a change and I've done it with the um, the pumice stone. I thought it goes with the background, but again, it's just... I want to add a little bit of gold on the end of my nib there. There we go. It just, just shows you, doesn't it? It's nice to mix it up a little bit. I'm just checking those are in shot because I've been very remiss today and I've not even checked that everything's in shot. So I hope it is. <laughs> so thank you for spending time with me. And as always, thank you for your lovely comments. I really do appreciate them. It's so nice. And it's nice when you, you, you talk to each other as well. Such a lovely community on here. So you take care, everybody. I'll see you again next week. Much love and hugs. Bye for now.